Good morning. It is Saturday. I think it's the 2nd of March. What day is it? I just finished a weekly vlog last night and um, if you watched that, you know, we finished the night. We went to Sam's Club and we bought like three bags of lemons and limes. And, um, we got a bag of grapefruit and a grab of, a grab of orange. A bag of oranges. <laughs> it's still early. I have been awake for a little bit, but um, I've had one cup of coffee. I'm gonna make another cup of coffee. And then today, we're hoping to have like a super productive Saturday because we've got some things we need to do, things that we didn't get to last weekend. Uh, we vlogged last Saturday as well. But I'm gonna start today out by squeezing the citrus. And first, I've got all of my limes in the sink. I like to rinse them very well and then zest them. Um, so I have my list here. Mom has gone to the bank first thing because, well, the bank opens at nine, but she wants to make a deposit. There is a Bank of America near the house. It's cl closer than the one she's going to, but it is only open Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And I don't know when people with a nine to five job are supposed to go to the bank. Anyway, so she's making the trek to the other bank that does have hours on Saturday. Um, so she's going to the bank first. I'm going to try to squeeze some citrus while she's gone. And then this is our whole list for today. We've got a lot of stuff on here. Um, I need to change the air filters and the smoke detector batteries. This is something that I've been wanting to do for several weeks. We usually do this in February. I have my alert set for, I think, Valentine's Day to remind me to do this. We do it once a year and we try to do it in February. February fire, smoke detector. To us, it makes sense. Um... I wanna put the Chief's wine bottles away. I've moved them over to the dining room table. I wanna set them up on top of one of our china cabinets just to display them for a little while because they're so pretty. Eventually, we'll probably put them into our little wine rack so that the corks don't dry out. But for now, since we just got them, I wanna put them on top of the china cabinet for a little while. We have a baby gate on the staircase and I think I've shown it to you guys before, but um, when I installed it, I didn't have a second pair of hands. I really should have had help when I did that. And one of the screws is in a stud, another one is not, and it's like coming out of the wall. And so we need to like repair that. So I have fixed the baby gate on here and we use the baby gate, not because we have a baby, but because we have two dogs that like to go upstairs. And most of the time that's not a problem, but when we're not home, we don't want them going upstairs. I wanna sweep the patio outside. So um, out by the pool, it's just sandy and kind of dirty and I would like to sweep that out. The big thing, big, big thing today is to clean and organize the garage. Our garage is absolutely a mess. I don't know if we're going to be able to get to that today, but it is something that I want to get done in the month of March. We need to deep defrost the deep freezers. Probably not going to do that today, but mostly I want to get the cars out of the garage and like sweep, but I want to move things into their like homes because we've been using stuff and not putting it back. So there's stuff all over the garage. None of it makes any sense. It used to be organized and it's not anymore. And it's giving me a lot of anxiety and a little bit of rage just because it's driving me crazy that I can't find what I need. Or we have something. We don't think we have it because it wasn't put back in the right place. So we go and buy more and then we realize, oh, we still have some, like cat litter really only needs to live in one place in the garage, not three, in my opinion. And then mom has a little bit of yard work she'd like to do later. Uh, I think she has a couple of rose bushes that she wants to plant. So that is the tentative plan. I don't know what we're gonna get to today. I don't know if we'll get to all of this today. It is overcast and 70, it's very humid out. But um, I think that it's like, nice enough that we would should be able to work outside a little bit today at least um, until our gumption runs out but first I'm going to tackle this citrus fruit because we like to have frozen like ice cubes of lemon juice lime juice orange juice to put in our water to make cocktails you know when I'm cooking it's really handy to have frozen lemon juice um, or lime juice so I want to juice the lemons and limes and we might hold off on the oranges for now because we still have a bunch of orange juice in the freezer. But anyway, I wanna get started on this. So I'm gonna start here. 
after I make another cup of coffee. I'm not trying to complain, but I have zested half of the limes. There are 23 limes here. So I've zested half of them. And there's a ton of lime zest in here. It smells so good. I usually like to zest everything. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do this morning is just do the limes because my wrist is starting to get uh, sore. So I think what I'm gonna do is juice these and get my wrist a break. And then I will zest and juice the other half of the limes and then I'll do the lemons later because um, this is taking a while. But the reason I do this is because I can freeze the lime zest. We actually have some in the freezer right now, but I can use it later when I cook, and um, then I don't have to go and buy more limes when I need lime zest. So when we get this, yes, it is a huge process. However, it is super helpful when we're cooking, so I like to do that. Um, it takes a long time. It hurts my wrist. There's gotta be an easier way, but I don't know of it, so. <laughs> This is how I'm doing it for now, completely manually, but it's totally fine. So um, I think I'm going to take a little break from zesting and um, start juicing. And then I'll do the other half, but I'm not gonna make you watch that. All right, mom is home from the bank and has basically told me enough is enough and to stop zesting the limes. And I think that she's right, if I'm honest. Because we still have a lot of zest in the freezer it just feels wasteful to not do all of them, but I've done half of them, you know. We've got a cereal bowl full of lime zest. Anyway, I've juiced the first half of limes, and we have four whole cups of lime juice already. So um, since this thing is full, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and get our ice trays filled and into the freezer. So um, this is what I would call a life hack, right? or a kitchen hack. And it's actually one of the, the, my favorite ones that we do because it's so helpful when we're cooking or when we're making cocktails or when we're making mocktails or you know when we just want some lime juice in our water. But to have constant like lime juice that's frozen and this is not from concentrate, this is, you know, fresh from the lime that we squeeze. So I really like doing this. We've been doing it for a long time. But I will fill our little ice cube trays. We've got a few different ones. We have that one like normal plain ice cube tray and then we have these little round ones which turn into spheres. And I don't, I don't typically like fill these all the way. I'll fill them halfway and then stick the lid on because typically these are about two ounces if I fill them only halfway. I have measured before. Um, and that's just about perfect for, you know, one glass of water or for when we're making a cocktail. It's nice to know how much is in these and to know that it's about two ounces is just perfect. So I will take these out and stick them in the freezer and let them freeze until they're solid. And then when they're done, I will put them in a Ziploc bag and we will repeat the process. Okay, so I kind of lied. Um, I told you I was gonna do the lemons later. I ended up zesting half of the lemons and then juicing all of them. So this is the lemon zest from half of the lemons and this is the lemon juice, minus one cup. So I have lemon zest, I've got all of my lime zest. And then I have some orange zest because I did three oranges. And I only juiced three oranges because I made this. So this is one cup of lime juice, one cup of lemon juice, one cup of orange juice. So we are going to be able to make margaritas this weekend because we may get in the pool later and I think it might be really nice to have a fresh margarita <laughs> in the pool. Anyway, um, I made this. So that is um, just like a mix. I've rinsed the rest of the oranges. These are gonna go in the refrigerator outside until I'm ready to juice them and that can wait a little while. Um, the lemon juice is gonna go in the fridge and wait until the lime juice is done being frozen. So we'll just cycle that through the next couple of days in the freezer. And then for the zest, I have my Ziploc bags of zest. So this one is my lemon zest and I'm gonna add my fresh stuff to this.
And before I zip it shut all the way, I like to squeeze as much air out as I can. And it kind of helps if I mash it a little bit flat. So there's our lemon zest, and I do use this quite a bit when I'm cooking, so that's really helpful. The lime zest, I will add to like rice, so I use this quite a bit when I'm cooking too. Okay, and same story, I will try to squeeze as much of the air out of this one as I can. So there's our lime zest. And then orange. Now I don't have a whole lot of orange zest in here because I actually have, like the last time I did the oranges, I did peels. So I did long strips of the orange peel and those are so nice for like specifically old fashioned cocktails. So I'm actually gonna use my spoon for the orange zest because it's so, full of like the orange essential oil. So it's kind of wet. So then for this one, I'm gonna try to keep the peels on this side and the zest on this side. And if you're looking at the bag, you see all this like liquid in here, that is the orange essential oil that came out of that zest. It's really cool. So anyway, there's our orange zest bag. I'll put that all in the freezer and then I've got a lot of dishes, but at least this job is done for now. I still have the oranges to do, but I'll go. I'll get those in a couple of days. We don't need them right now. We've still got plenty of orange juice in the freezer. I'm so good at this vlogging thing that I forgot to press record and I filmed a whole clip. Anyway, um, my next task is a whole lot faster and easier, more instant gratification than like zesting the lemon juice and the lime juice or zesting the lemons and then juicing the lemons. <sighs> that whole task fried my brain. Anyway, we have these beautiful Chiefs wine bottles that we bought. They were delivered last week and we are going to display them on top of this china cabinet for at least a little while. Um, we bought the same like set last year and displayed them on top of this china cabinet over here. But we, you know, since they have corks, we don't want the corks to dry out and then, then the wine to go bad. So we did put the old ones in here. We've had a couple of them. We've drank a couple of them. Um, so we don't have very many of them like left with wine and then we're keeping the bottles because they're precious and that's why we're buying them because look at this. I mean, this is an etched wine bottle. It's so cool. Anyway, we're gonna display these. So I'm gonna stick them up here on top of this china cabinet. I'm gonna climb on a ladder, but it's okay because there are other people in the house. So if I fall off, they will be able to time or name the time of death. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna put these up there. Not a cheap stand, you probably won't appreciate this, but I think they're pretty and I love displaying them. All right, well, I'm upstairs in my room now because the next couple of tasks that I have also require a ladder, but it's hot out or humid enough that I want to put on shorts and take off my sweatpants. So I just did that and that's nice. I just chugged a whole lot of water. The next couple of tasks I have, I'm gonna change the air filters there's two of those, one of them's in the ceiling, so I need a ladder for that. And then um, smoke detector batteries. So we have the new batteries. We've had them for a couple of weeks. Mom asked me to do them a couple of weeks ago and I never did, so it's time to actually get them done. None of them have been dying, but we do try to be really um, proactive with our smoke detector batteries. And we try to change them once, once a year. Last year we had one that was like glitching but um, it hasn't been weird since, so that's good. Um, and then sometimes when I'm cooking and it gets a little smoky in the house, they do go off, so we know they work, but um, anyway, I wanna change the batteries in those, but I'm gonna do the air filters first. I've, I feel like I've shown that before, so I'm not gonna show you that because you don't have to see it, but I'm telling you that's what I'm doing next, so I'm gonna go do that next. Now, I'm gonna do it right now. All right, it's time 
for the smoke detector batteries. These are the nine volt batteries. I have 12 of them and I hope that's enough. But I'm gonna start up here because I know there's one, two, three. And there's one in my room too. I'm gonna need at least six up here. I might need more, but we'll see. Anyway, I won't make you watch this, but I'll tell you when I'm done. Something I feel successful at today. We've had an upsetting hour. I'm filming on a new camera, well, not a new camera, an old camera because my camera won't turn on. Um, we've got a water leak in the yard because one of the irrigation pipes is uh, split and so we are waiting for the city to send someone out to turn the water off or we have to go to buy a new tool. Can we buy the tool? I don't think or they have can. to come out and I turn it off. I don't want to do it if it takes a special tool. I want the city to do it or the water guy to do it. I agree. So we've got a leak in the yard. We, Big leak. We tried figuring out how to turn the water off ourselves and it's not working. Um, and then my camera won't turn on. Mom broke a nail. I have a headache. I think we should eat something before we work on the garage because I'm gonna get hangry real fast. So I think I'm gonna eat something. And then, my friend ibuprofen. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I hope your Saturday is going better than ours is. <laughs> All right, I'm out in the garage now. We have eaten lunch, so I feel slightly better. Still frustrated with all of the situations, but um, all the cars are out of the garage. And I think what I wanna do, I mean, obviously we need to sleep, sweep. We do need to sleep too, but sweep. Um, okay, so we've got junk that we should probably throw away in that box. I don't know what that is. Um, we've got cat litter hidden back here, but we also have cat litter over here, so I wanna pick one place to put all the cat litter. Um, I would like to make this all make sense again because some of this stuff I don't think needs to be out here. So there's some stuff upstairs in the laundry room that I would like to bring down here. So maybe we'll trade some of this, you know, some places with some stuff. Um, but I don't particularly care for having all of our tools like all over everywhere, it's just a disaster. So anything that we can do to make it make sense I think would be good. Um, eventually, maybe, probably, probably, honestly, definitely not today, but eventually we want to um, defrost the deep freezers. The pecans need to go into the deep freezer, but we're not even gonna worry about that today because we'll end up like defrosting the deep freezer and m making space in there. Um, but I wanna make it all make more sense. And then this over here, I think I want all of this stuff to be plants yard stuff, fertilizer. So this, like there's paint over here that shouldn't be there. But if we can make it make more sense, I think that would help. And I think I would have less rage about it. So let's see what we can do today to make it better. I'm not gonna vlog this. I'm not gonna make you watch it. But here's what it looks like before. It's almost four o'clock. At least it's warm. Um, we have made a lot of progress here in the garage and I think I'm to a place where I'm just gonna say that I'm happy with it. The, the deep freezers still need to be defrosted but I am not in the mood for that today. We have had a couple of guys come out, a guy from the city and a guy from like a private company that we asked to come out. Um, the water for the irrigation system has been turned off so the leak is no longer an active leak. But anyway, what I got on to say was that we are to a stopping place with the garage. So let me show you what it looks like now. You probably won't be able to tell the difference, but I can, and I have a whole lot more peace in my heart because of this. All right, so this over here, actually the box fan box, and then these two plastic things, that's garbage. Um, and then this box is recycle, and then this big long box here is also recycle, and then the silver thing is trash. The big box has flower pots in it and I have plans for those, tentative plans for those, so I still need to figure out what I'm gonna do with them. Um, and the box I'm keeping because it is my spray paint box. But the bike is going to go somewhere else and it actually, we wanna take it to the shop because it needs some serious maintenance. It's been, well I haven't ridden this since I was in college. <laughs> um, and that was, oh gosh, six years ago. So it's been a while, wait, no eight years ago, my goodness, 
but it's a wonderful bike. We just want to have some maintenance done on it. So this rack here behind the trash can is all garden stuff. So we've got like fertilizers and uh, pest repellent. And then this I think is um, soil. And then down here we have plants. And then this is like irrigation system equipment and preen and um, like fence cleaner. And then down here we have more fertilizer and stuff and apparently a flower pot, which I did not put there, but we need to deal with that. Anyway, this was what I wanted to turn into an area just for plant stuff and that's done. I'm happy. Ignoring all of this because most of this will go away. Um, I did do just a little bit re of rearranging up here on top. Um, so this is gonna be a lot easier for us to use. Right now we have a bunch of coolers up there um, and then like our reusable grocery bags are in this crate and then over here we have lunch boxes and cooler backpacks. So that's really helpful. I did some rearranging in our garage fridge and that made me feel better and this corner is a lot less cluttered. Moving along this way, we have um, some cat litter. I've got one more box I'm gonna pull over here. And then we moved the chair to this side of the door from over there and we switched the umbrellas to over there because they were here and they were in the way of the light switch. So we're gonna try this for a week and see how we like it uh, because it was just kind of in the way for a while, but I think this is gonna work a little bit better. And then coming over here, I did some rearranging for our paint stuff. Um, I need to deal with this plastic bag because I just saw it. I forgot that I put it down there, but I need to deal with that. But most of this is just like paint for the interior of the house, paint brushes, roller stuff. So that's there. And then I did some rearranging back here. I did not deal with the toolbox, but we have an auto box. So this is like auto cleaning and maintenance stuff. Then this here, eventually I want to get a tackle box, I think, to deal with our screws and nails and stuff, but we have a ton of like different nails and screws and hooks and stuff. So I want to try to sort those into, I think a tackle box would be awesome for that. And then this up here is all bug repellent stuff. And these are outdoor activities like bubbles and chalk and glow bracelets, you know, for when we want to play outside. So this back here is much more organized much neater and I feel so much happier about it. Also, mom swept. So it is much cleaner and it feels so much better in here. I know it doesn't look clean and I know that it's not completely organized, but it is so much better than it was. So I, I'm happy, content. I can live with it like this. Let me finish up those last couple of things because the cat litter is over here. So let me deal with this plastic bag and the cat litter and then I will be 100% done. All right, it's five o'clock or almost, it's 4.48. I'm gonna take a shower. Mom's taking a shower. I don't know if I updated you on the water situation, the leak situation. The water has been turned off for the irrigation system. Fortunately, I still have water in the house, but it's still a really frustrating situation. So I haven't tried to turn my other camera on again. I guess we'll see what happens. I don't know. I'm just, I'm frustrated and I'm to the point where I've had enough and I think I'm going to give up. So I'm going to take a shower and call it a day. It's been really frustrating, but at least we got a couple of little things done and some important things like the smoke detector batteries are really important. I'm glad those are done. Air filters are important. The garage has been picked up and tidied and organized and I'm very happy about that. And I'm glad we discovered the leak. It's still the whole leak situation. Anyway, that's it. I don't know how long this vlog's gonna be, but at least it's over. <laughs> I hope you had a better Saturday than we did. You guys will see me in another video really soon.